you guys looking to get out on the water and catch more fish but not looking to pay a lot of money for a kayak I got something for you let's take a look what what is that what is that what is that that right there is the Pelican Catch 100. An extremely affordable kayak coming in at around $600 to $650. Uh, I got this as a gift, uh, two years sobriety from a girlfriend. Uh, yeah, two years sober, man. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I was a drunk for a long time of my adult life and uh I couldn't take it no more, didn't want to drink no more, didn't want to be a drunk no more. I uh, wanted to be a better man, a better person, a human being, a better human being, and father to my child. Uh, so I gave it all to Jesus, and he was more than willing to take it. And ever since then, my life, complete 180, and things is good, and I couldn't be more happier with myself. And uh, thank you, Jesus. But... For you guys that are looking to get out on the water and not spend spend a lot of money and can't afford to spend a lot of money, this right here is it, man. The Pelican Catch 100. Great kayak. Very comfortable. Very stable. It has its pros and it has its cons, just like every kayak. But this man, for the money, you, you, I don't think you can beat it. I really don't. Uh, now... One con to this is, it is kind of a pain to paddle. It's a barge, really. Uh, being that it's only 10 foot long and the bow is essentially square. Uh, makes it difficult to paddle, but you'll eventually get there, you know. Uh, just take your time and just get out there, you know. If you're looking to fish, then this is it, man. Uh, Another con to it, which it isn't really a con, it's just me nitpicking, but uh, I think they could have did away, they could have did away with the the um, paddle holder on the side and just made the track run all the way down, and you could have bought like a roto grip paddle holder or something like that, uh, but you know, that's I guess that's just me nitpicking, and I have the Piranha Max Hummingbird 4 fish finder unit. Uh, it's just a straight up traditional unit. I didn't buy the universal adapter or anything. I just took a block of wood and cut it and mounted it on there with using a toilet bolt, a T-bolt. I have it on there and I just slide it in on through the track right there. Uh, I have I have the battery mounted inside the hole and the same as the transducer is mounted in the hole. Everything works fine. The, uh, the transducer reads, reads great all but the temperature. The temperature may be off a degree or two, but that's no big deal for me. Uh, no problem. I have the Omega Pro rod holder, Yak Attack. Um, I did a DIY anchor trolley that was simple enough i used quarter 20 well nuts and quarter quarter 20 screws and nuts with, with screws and i just a simple um i think it was quarter inch quarter inch pulleys on carabinas and a stainless steel o-ring that was it man uh, one pro to this is it is extremely comfortable. Plenty of room in the cockpit. Plenty of room. You can, your legs stretch out. You don't feel cramped. Uh, the seat, extremely comfortable. You have spots here in the seat so you can add lumbar, lumbar support if you need it. But I find that I don't need it. And I'm, I'm six foot, roughly 210 pounds. And to me, I'm I'm fine, man. I can sit in this thing all day long, no problems with the tushy hurting, the back, no problems with the back hurting. Uh, don't feel cramped. I'm able to move around in it, you know, and feel good, and not worry about tipping because it's it's extremely stable. Got plenty of room back here in the back for 
a crate or whatever you want to put back here. Uh, it's got four uh, carrying handles, one in one at the bow up here, two on the gunnels, and one at the bow. I mean, in the stern at the stern. Uh, it's got four flush mount rod holders. Uh, great kayak, man. If you guys are looking to get out on the water, you're tired of fishing from the bank, then this could be it, man. Uh, like I said, fairly reasonable, man. Inexpensive. Very stable. It'll get you out there do some fishing, man. You guys, if y'all watch the videos of some of the guys that might be knocking this kayak, hey man they those videos i think could be further from the truth man this is a good kayak don't don't you know if you could get somewhere and you can demo it yourself then go demo i advise any anyone that's looking to invest in a kayak go demo before you buy you know uh don't just take my word for it or anyone else's go do it yourself you know that's that's how you learn and how you know what you like and what's good for you uh, for you guys that have been watching my channel, I appreciate it. Uh, hit, don't forget to hit the like button, please. Uh, subscribe. I've got a lot of good content that's coming. A lot of, of my fishing trips that I've been on, I've saved. I'm just waiting on the stuff to come in so I can do my editing and my uploads. Uh, I've caught a lot of good bass here uh, within the last two weeks. Uh, some good sized bass uh, and some crazy spots man you guys uh i think would be interested in seeing that i've caught a lot of good catfish uh and some good crappy and some good brim and bluegill um just as soon as my stuff comes in i'm gonna get that stuff uploaded for you guys and you guys can take a gander at that but uh please hit the like button subscribe and uh i appreciate you guys watch watching uh y'all get out on the water catch fish, catch, catch big fish, and enjoy yourselves. But most of all, y'all be safe. Y'all have a great day.